This is one of the many stories that you probably wouldn't get a chance to hear. Right. Is there anything else that you wanted to say? Now, Spotswood's Rice was a father like me. Mary Bell was a daughter like you. There was a slave master that owned him and there was another woman named Kitty Diggs who owned all the rest of his family. So he had a wife and six kids that he didn't get a chance to see except for two times a week, right? And he would always come beaten, bruised, scarred up. And this was happening because he wasn't always listening to the people. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what made the slave master the most upset? He was teaching the Emancipation Proclamation to the other slaves on the plantation. And they were upset at that because they didn't want anything to spread to them that could even make it get in their mind that freedom was anywhere possible. They beat him worse than they ever had during his time there. So him and 11 other slaves decided to leave and they joined the army. I want you to understand that Mary is my child and she is a God-given right of my own. You may hold on to her as long as you can, but I want you to remember this one thing, that the longer you keep my child from me, the longer you will have to burn in hell and the quicker you will get there. I want you to understand, Kitty Diggs, that wherever you and I meet, we are enemies to each other. Never in your life did you give my children anything, not even a dollar's worth of expenses. Now you call my children your property? My children are my own and I expect to get them. That's the kind of letter I would have wrote. Wow. wow. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. New episodes on Wednesdays come.